My name is Janine and I run Blessings in the Backpack here in Bonneville, Alberta, Canada. I've been running it. This is the end of our third year and I brought this program to Bonneville because there was a need in our community for children who don't get enough to eat on weekends. In 2008, I decided that um, I didn't want to spend like we had been spending and there was more to life than just wait until the paycheck ran out. So I went to the library and picked up Dave Ramsey's Total Money Makeover and it was a wake-up call and how you could live a different way and live more purposefully. I've been married to my husband Kevin for almost 15 years and we have one daughter named Sophia who happens to be on the ASD spectrum. She is an amazing kid who loves art and we love to spend our summers at Lac des Îles in Saskatchewan. I did FPU in 2012 and I, it just reiterated the whole purpose of living fully and what that looks like exactly. It doesn't look like driving a BMW for me. It means family time and laughing your butt off to your gut hurts and giving. A lot of giving. Giving is probably the biggest thing when you no longer owe anybody. All of a sudden you have all this money and you can do whatever you want with it. And it has changed our lives and we are living like no one else because of it. So we did whatever we wanted. There was a charity that we stood behind. We, we threw money at it. A local church in town had just started a food pantry. So I wrote them a check for $1,000 so they could buy a fridge. I love to walk in off the street and write a check for $2,500 to a local food bank. We bought a, a milk fridge for the milk program at our school for over three grand. We bought guitars for the school at $2,000. It's just the best feeling in the world to give, give of yourself. When you start to think of yourself as more than just a spectator in life, you can do whatever and, and, and it, it's such a joyful feeling. After um, my daughter was diagnosed with uh, with autism, you feel you kind of fall into a really black place, and you think that life is never going to be better than it is right now. And you stop hoping that things are going to be this way for your child when they grow up. And it can be really lonely when you are raising a special needs child because other outside people don't understand your kid at all, and you feel like you have to explain everything to them. While I was feeling like that, I think God gave me something else to hold on to. And I think when you feel like you're sinking, if you can give to somebody or start a new a program or something that you can, it helps lift you up when you start helping others and you stop focusing so much on yourself. It makes you see a bigger picture that no, this life is what you make it. When I was working in the schools and I would see kids come in to eat breakfast. I started wanting to somehow branch out and do something with that to help these kids on the weekend because I was so thankful to my daughter's elementary school for being so wonderful with her. And I wanted to give back to kids the way that my daughter had been given to. And that's how I came at starting Blessings in a Backpack. In order to bring Blessings in a Backpack to Bonneville, we had to guarantee that we can fund three full years at $5,000 a year for a total of $15,000. They don't want people coming in, starting it for two months, running out of money, and then those kids relying on that food already and not getting it anymore. We wouldn't have been able to do that when we had debt. Like, $100 just given to a kid coming to sell Boy Scout tins of popcorn wasn't even, wasn't even gonna be feasible. Now that we became debt free, it opened up this whole new world of giving and it's, um, it's changed absolutely everything in our lives. 
I get to pack food for kids I don't even know, but I feel really great knowing that there's 24 kids that are being fed this weekend for a program we got to bring here. It brings us so much joy and, and just gratitude that we are able to bless others to carry on and be their best selves and, and live a full life. Anyone that's ever doubted themselves and then pushed through it anyway will get what that feels like when you say, thank you, God, I didn't listen to my inner self and I just went past the fear and just jumped. Because had I not done that, um, we'd have more kids right now that are struggling. <laughs> I get to see these kids on Thursdays after school and they don't know who I am, but they're carrying their bags of food that I had just packed for them. And they're so excited. <laughs> for anyone that has enough to eat, it's probably nothing. But for kids that don't know what they're gonna eat, they know when they go home they have something. The day of a food bag drop, which happens to be a Thursday morning, Every Thursday, I do not know who any of the children are. I do not know their families. It could be a neighbor for all I know. And that's what the beauty of Blessings in a Backpack is, is that nobody knows who it is. They are distributed by the staff. So it's completely confidential. The secretaries will, when kids are out for recess, they will go put the bags inside of their existing backpacks so that even other children don't even know. But you get the occasional kid that's really excited about what their food bags are and what they get to eat, so they swing them around for the whole public to know they don't even care, they're just so happy. <laughs> you have to have a start and an end point, but the end point is really just the beginning. You're gonna accomplish some amazing things that you didn't even think was gonna be possible because you were so weighed down by your debt. The air smells different. Clothing feels different. Your outlook on life, you're more positive. Uh, you attract more positive things in your life when you no longer owe anybody. I want, I want people to know how this feels and you can do this, everyone can do this. It doesn't matter what you make. You do not have to make $200,000 a year to be debt free. It just starts with a plan. That's it, just a plan. Say yes to changing your life. Say yes to being different than everybody else. Say yes to driving an older car than your friends do. Say yes to living in a 40 year old house like we do. Just say yes to all of it and it all changes. And then you stop caring what other people are doing because may, while that's fine for them, you've got bigger plans that you wanna see succeed. And I'm just so glad that we jumped and we got debt free. Our whole life is just completely changed. We're, we are living like no one else so that my daughter can go to any kind of school she wants to because we have the funding for it in cash. If you can dream it up, you can make it happen. But when you have debt, it takes choices away. If you have debt, you can't make the choices that you really, really want in your heart. And when you live debt free, it opens up a whole new can of worms for you. So you better be ready for the ride because it's brilliant. I mean, it's, it's friggin' awesome. <laughs> I totally love it. Yeah.